my beautiful viewers. I wanted to jump in here real quick. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing my month ahead video so soon. Generally, I try to wait until a little closer to the month ahead. Um, but I started just looking at the card saying, what's coming up for December out of my own curiosity? And I thought, you know what? I better run a video on this and clue you all in on what I'm picking up on. So, because I think uh, December might be kind of an interesting month coming up. So what I initially did, and uh, just because I never do the same spread twice, not generally I don't, um, I was going through the energies just to see kind of what I could see. And um, I did a spread where I was looking at what's behind us, what's the caution or what we need to be aware of or what we need to be mindful of. Um, what's coming up before us that we're going to be seeing? And then what is the hope? And then what is the ultimate outcome for the month? So for each of those, I, I put two cards out. Now, on what's behind us, I got the Queen of Wands and the Emperor. So some type of order being established, things that have been going along in a certain vein that have had um, basically order establishment, this is the way it is, kind of entrenched. That has been kind of what's been in the field around us, okay? Trying to bring order out of chaos, okay? The caution was the four of wands and the six of swords. And it's kind of this complacency, wanting to move on. So I thought, well, this is interesting. But what's coming was the tower, the card of destruction and calamity, and the card of sadness, both. So I thought, well, that's really interesting. So what does this telling me? And then we looked at the hope was the four of pentacles. That's the card of security, holding on to what's yours. So there's hope in that. Meaning that I don't think all hope will be lost, whatever this calamity coming is. And I'll get into that in a minute. And also the four of cups, the card of refusal. So um, there may be some feelings of scarcity or wanting to hang on to what's yours, but that's also the hope. So I don't think hope is lost in that area. And then we have the outcome being the strength card. So there's something coming in December, I'll just say, but there's also some positive cards with it. So here's what I want to to get into and the meat of why I decided to go ahead and roll the video on this. I did another spread on it and my question was, okay, if there's something coming in December that might appear to be calamitous or destructive or maybe a shock or something like that, what do we need to know about it? What sector is it involving? You know, is this, is this political fallout? Is this economy? What's going on and what do we need to know with this? And I did a general 10 card spread on that. Um, and I got some very positive cards. And I thought, well, this is really fascinating. The first card out was the Four of Swords, which is the card of needing to recover, needing some downtime. And it's crossed by the moon, some kind of illusion, or something that's that's not clear, things are kind of murky, need to, needing time to regenerate and recuperate. But we also have the sun coming out right after this moon. So whatever this is, there I'm telling you, there there's something good with it. Um, I know that there's been some other astrologers and people that are like, oh, December is going to be interesting. There might be some really challenging energies. And I agree because I, I, that tower card is pretty powerful, especially coupled with the five of cups. You got that sadness along with it. 
there's some challenges, I think, coming up in December. But we have the sun coming out. We have the nine of cups coming out, which is your wish being granted. And the card of healing, angel of the ocean in this deck. It's the card of temperance. And the six of cups innocence card. And underneath the Nine of Pentacles gratitude card. So just as equally, there are good things coming as well. So don't feed into the doom and gloom, not that you are, but some of you might be or may be tempted to, or maybe you know someone who is. Try not to feed into that because what's happening, I believe, is a cleansing of the palette it is something shifting that needs to happen and so here's what I wrote down my question was what areas will the towers influence be manifested destruction okay the Sun is on it it's coming right around the corner from this destruction meaning that what is coming apart at the seams needs to happen when things are falling apart, the more we resist, the more painful it is. The more we resist, the more painful it is. So see the energies of endings or things falling apart or destruction as that of consciously letting go of what no longer serves you. So if we see things out in the world that look chaotic and crazy, maybe there's a shift or a shakeup in politics. Maybe there's uh, markets, maybe some fluctuation there. These are things that need to happen, okay? That's what I think this is telling me because of the sun card, the wish card, and the healing card. The, the tower card is powerful, but it's offset is what I'm getting. And so, yes, things need to happen. Yes, there may be a cleansing energy coming in. If we can embrace what's coming and flow with it and try not to get swept up in it or swept away with it. See any cleansings coming, any shifting, any challenges coming as a way to release what no longer serves. And a lot of times that's hard to do because we don't see what's around the corner. We don't know what's ahead. And so this is gonna take a little bit of faith and a lot of, maybe a lot of faith and a lot of trust that says, you know what? I don't, I don't see around the corner, but maybe this is what needs to happen in order for things to change for the better. And so try to use a mindset that embraces the positive of what these changes might bring for us in December. So that's what I want to leave you with. I may do a full overview of the month. Maybe I'll do another month ahead. Maybe I'll do a part two. <laughs> but I think, I think that this was important to get this message out that things may look crazy and if they do know that this is part of the process and try to flow with it and go with it and see it as something that is positive even if it doesn't look it tell yourself the story that this is this is happening for our good okay and for many of you there there may be energies that are pretty good in your life. And maybe the chaos seems twice removed from you. And if so, consider yourself blessed. But just see that too as, see, not everything is falling apart because my life is doing well. And there are gonna be many of you that are gonna be just fine. You're gonna weather this storm like it's nothing. So, Storms pass. Storms don't last forever. And we, we get stuck when we feel like all we do is survive. 
All we do is survive the storm. Well, what do we do with ourselves when the storm is over and we're attached to the drama of what the storm brought? We're attached to that energy of, I have to survive. Um, life is hard. What do we do when the storm is over and things smooth out and life is beautiful? A lot of people don't know how to attach to that because they're used to being attached to the drama and the pain and the trauma that they've been accustomed to. So maybe this is about letting go of the areas where we've said, I don't know anything else. All I know is drama, trauma, addiction, abuse, whatever. We get a chance to rewrite the story and to come out of our collective chaos. It's not all doom and gloom. So be positive. We have wonderful things coming around the corner and the sun card proves that. I'm gonna show it to you using my ocean deck here. But that sun bringing light, bringing warmth, and beauty once again. It's up to us to create it. We've, we've seen what our creations have brought us in terms of turmoil, chaos. We have the chance to bring something new, but it's gonna take letting go of those old tapes, old programs, old ways of thinking that have kept us stuck. So, as we close out this new, this year, let's let go of our collective misery <laughs> that we've seen playing out in the earth. We can create something beautiful and better going into the new year. And maybe it's better. No, it's not maybe. It is better than anything that we could have ever dreamed possible. So let's hold on to that. And with that, I wish you a wonderful month. And I hope and pray for each of you that you'll have a great month. And thanks for watching everyone. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.